Nah. Yeah, I think that's that's gonna be a like a divisive thing. I don't know. I like well, it. Do you want okay. engagement? <laughs> do you want engagement? Well, okay. That's why I like. What's, what's Let's the goal kill here? What's a bunny the goal here? live. Is like, it co- do, you, do you want people to? Is it is interact? It, when you cough, does it go through the mask? When you fart, does it go through your pants and your underwear? Oh. Are the poop particles smaller? Oh. Or is your cough smaller than particles? We don't know. I don't does know. the fecal That's spread? Like, when you cough. Poop particles. No, whenever you fart, it goes through your pants, mm. and then well, it goes through your. I underwear, thought you were coughing you poop particles. No. <laughs> <laughs> coughing. <laughs> weird. Coughing. I mean, particles. I mean, like, what kind of cough does he have? <laughs> Lupus. <laughs> poop. <laughs> Lupus. <laughs> I don't know. Not sure. Well, uh, you well, can't wear a mask if you're eating ass. No. Oh yeah, that's that. yeah. That's you never go, go mask to mouth. Mask to mask. What about when you burp? Do you spread COVID? Yeah, yeah. Burp is just about it's a fart your mouth makes. Okay. So if fart spread COVID too? Uh, if someone breathed into your butt first, then yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> You said you want an informative podcast. I am bringing you the science. No, that yeah, I, I like it. Yeah, if somebody coughs into your butthole. And then you and fart. And then you fart. You could potentially spread COVID. Okay, all right. They call it asymptomatic. Yeah. Asymptomatic. asymptomatic. Yeah. No, asymptomatic. I'm, I'm in okay. shell shock right now. I'm like, whoa, you know? Yeah. Like, so it does, and then it doesn't yeah. filter because it's not going through your system. How many cases do you think came from that? Like how many in Florida? Half. <laughs> hey, said you do know he's joking, right? <laughs> you do know he's joking. I, I I believe him. Oh, he's serious. I believe it. Do your research. Oh sure. Yeah, th- no, this is uh, these are just facts. facts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, cold hard facts. They're all facts. <laughs> cold hard facts. Uh, yeah. Speaking of facts, kind of wild that we were able to send messages on a piece of paper from like I don't know the '60s when faxes get invented. Faxes? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think Fax. it's in the 60s. I'm just making up a number, but it's pretty crazy. Yeah. But what's weirder, that or the voice? I still think TV. The, not show? the show with Blake Shelton. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think you can transfer your voice through a phone line. I think video. That is pretty crazy. No, 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 no. Transferring your like your voice through like like a record. That always That's never crazy made any too. sense. Oh yeah, that I is never pretty understood. crazy. And this like a needle, needle just the plays it back. Yeah. On that, how the I don't get it. I still don't get it. Yeah, I don't I get don't, a lot. I don't, know I don't get that either. I don't do my research. Can yeah. have to do our research. Not on that. <laughs> not on that. No, We're not making records. We're not. No. We should though. It's all digital now. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it doesn't. Well, matter. no, you make a record to to like sell to people so that you get your numbers up and. Like, as a collector's item? I think okay. everyone does that, right? Like, everyone presses a, an album, represses an album that's, like, a classic album or no, whatever. Yeah, a lot of people do that. And, like, uh, with Bandcamp now has an option where artists can issue things as vinyl. They have, like, vinyl options you can buy off Bandcamp. Uh, cassettes. You want to go dropping cassettes? Does anyone have a cassette player? Any of you guys have a cassette player? I don't. I don't. Uh, I think they're going to make That old of... Toyota doesn't have a... Oh, it does. You got yeah. an 87 4Runner <laughs> that have a cassette player? Yeah, it does. <laughs> Oh, eight track, no, not <laughs> eight track. No, take a set. Yeah. No, not not eight track, but not like, eight track. Yeah. Like the one that gets all wound up, and you got to put the pencil in there. Yeah, but it doesn't work. It's yeah, you need to get that. Maybe one. it's the tape. Maybe it just doesn't work. Cause Maybe it's, it's Maybelline. Is there a vehicle that plays records? <laughs> no, I don't think there so. should be. There definitely yeah. is somewhere. I guarantee someone made one, but I don't think. I think it's the same like, way. I don't think they ever came Imagine hitting a bucket. Your record's all freaking scratched. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bump it all. <laughs> the needle just drags all the There's way There's probably through. some audio file that put a record player in there. It's like, oh, this is the cleanest this fucking sound that you've ever heard. I'm going to be the only one with the record That's player. That's yeah. the same guy spreading COVID through farts, too. All right, Gatsby, we get it. <laughs> well, check in next week for COVID updates. And more and facts on how COVID spreads. Through your anus. And so, like, these soldiers have their their muskets or whatever kind of guns they had back then. Muskets. And these uh, Native Americans, they had their bows and arrows. <clears throat> but when, when their time came to, like, catch up with them, I think that somehow, some way, they developed magic. And that was their form of, like, okay, let's go to war. I mean, they didn't win, but... Well, they were actually really good on horseback. 
Yeah. Like yeah. they were they're the ones that actually I, was it the was it the Comanches? Uh, there was a good Jeep, the nineteen eighty six Jeep Comanche. <laughs> uh, he was Four wheel like, drive. It doesn't go, anywhere, oh, yeah, it doesn't was, go places fast, but it goes places. Yeah, he was the chief actually, that chief. that guy. <laughs> chief Jeep Comanche. Yeah, chief Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean, I don't know a ton about that, except I had a command G that was a Jeep. Uh, from what I understand, they were great horses. <laughs> but, like, horses weren't even from here, so, like, that was still a learning curve for them. Like, horses aren't native to North America. They brought over from Europe, so they didn't have a ton of time to learn, but they seemed great. They seemed good at it. They had the horses. Uh, I was always told the... Uh, most dangerous one was the one riding the Appaloosa because those horses are really dumb and if you had to ride one of those all the way to the battle you'd be pretty angry you know? <laughs> but uh, the magic stuff I don't know I, th- I think if they had some magic I don't think uh, I don't think they would have been uh, genocided yeah um, yeah like I said they didn't win yeah I think the I think it was like a big communication problem too I mean that boundary maybe I mean, they used all the magic learning to ride horses I mean, yeah. a bunch of a bunch of freaking people coming to the land that you lived on, and all of a sudden, like they're yeah, we're taking this shit over. Like you only have so many spell slots. Too. Yeah, and it's like oh, yeah. you you, you <laughs> live off the land. Ran out oh, of fuck, mana. We got boats. And mana boats. was low. Yeah, they needed that. Uh, what is it? Is it ether? Yeah, ether. Yeah, ether, it's your MP yeah. Up. Copper. <laughs> Copper. <laughs> also, too. I mean, I know. I don't actually know. I'm not part of these communities. He knows. But I I know there is a lot of talk of, like, magic and stuff in Native American communities through, from different people and things. But, uh, germs. Guess germs are just too much. Yeah. Yeah. And I think there's a book, I haven't read the book, but there's a book like Gunpowder, Steel, and Germs that talks (laughs) about, like, how Europeans were just sick fucks. nations, yeah. They were just sick fucks and they got used to all the nastiness and they took it places where people were cleaner and not nasty. And, oh, yeah. yeah they fucking, they fucked them up because they weren't used to all that sick shit. Nasty to help real hard. Oh, well, why didn't, why didn't the Indians get sick, though? I mean, they still have the same germs in the same areas, you know what I mean? Like, whoa. Um, no, that's what... No, they didn't. I'm saying yeah. they didn't have those germs. No, what I'm saying is, like, like they still would have got sick, right? I mean... From what? Well, so their their body didn't have like man, this is this is kind of topical actually. Their bodies didn't have immunities built up from a younger age for the kind of germs that the Europeans were bringing over. So they when they when they caught smallpox, like, there was no smallpox around. To my knowledge, oh, yeah. not a scientist. Sorry guys, there wasn't like <laughs> smallpox and these other germs and stuff in North America. So these Europeans bring it over. The native communities don't have an immunity to this stuff built up at all. Whereas the Europeans had centuries of exposure to these things, and now they just Die. Yeah. I wasn't quite as eloquent the way I said it, but that's what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, they, uh, let's just say they didn't have magic, but okay, they have they some magic. Have, if they had magic, that'd be dope, and they might have some. I don't know. What, oh, sorry. Yeah. Let's say they have some magic. Yeah. Then I what? I think I think you know they 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 had it, and that was their form of like okay you know we don't have guns but we have this, and. What magic though? Like, uh, what, what do they have? Well, I I think it depends on the tribes because some tribes have books, and not all the tribes have a book. Some tribes just like what they do is they go to the elder and they get that information from the elder, and the elder will teach them like whatever they want to learn. Uh, but it depends too because like Navajos will have a shaman that you go to for healing, and then if you don't if you're having a hard time with this guy at work you go to this shaman and he's like okay he's not gonna live no more so i mean it, it it's gonna vary per tribe from what i've you know read yeah i've seen this is this is anecdotal for sure but just from uh like people from a person uh from like i think the Pasquiaki reservation claiming to be like I know this witchcraft kind of stuff from here, and just like knowing someone's name, you like make him sick. Like yeah. he's just he live he's completely across the globe or whatever. But this guy wronged him, so he's going to make him sick and just kind of like bend the luck around him, make him start having inc- accidents, bad luck, bad things befalling him. Like a death and, note. Yeah, so I've heard this before. Yeah, kind of stuff before. Pretty similar, much. Yeah. So uh, one of the one of the things I heard from when I lived on the res over there, the uh, in Tucson, was that it's easier for the I'll just say the witches 
to do their work because of Facebook, because people post their pictures. And, well, a part of their, uh, you like know, the what they need, mm -hmm. what they need for their magic is a picture of the victim. So they put that, that picture down and then they put a plate on top of it. And then they put a candle on top of that plate. And then they... You're just going to give instructions to the whole internet? And how then... To right now? <laughs> okay, Get so off Facebook. But if that, was, if that was the case, then why didn't they, why didn't they just do that to... They didn't, like, have, they didn't have Facebook. Oh, yeah. They oh, shit. Picture, uh, they needed a photograph. Yeah. Yeah. yeah a painting? No, maybe they did, but they just can't just... A painting? <laughs> painting. <laughs> painting? Painting? They're going to hire somebody to do an oil painting portrait this of the guy, guy looks, and then... This guy looks the part. Yeah. George Washington. Paint him. <laughs> I actually know nothing about this stuff. I... Uh, are there is it are there parallels between that and other like witchcraft things like European witchcraft or I know like even you, you kind of go to the lines because I don't even know where the distinctions made between uh, you know Native American indigenous versus Mexican witchcraft stuff too like I know witchcraft's kind of global like everywhere yeah. right? is it are those similar things or is it different where they got their magic from or their spells i have no idea you know in general i don't even get how these people like learn spells this is how i pictured it uh so ed and lorraine they said that um they're like uh they always confiscated uh mirrors uh satanic cults and they said that what they did was they these these people would use mirrors to talk to things on the other side and I always assumed that when they did that, those things were teaching them like, okay, write this down, write this down, you know, and, and you got yourself a spell. So you say Ed and Lorraine. Yeah. Is that the one? That is. No? You've never seen Ed Conjuring? Uh, they're like oh, the, it's those. It's those like, like the uh, we run around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. 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 do the exorcisms. Yeah. 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 yeah, they were like the Ghostbusters for the yes. Oh, okay, cool. The, <laughs> yeah, the, the Warrens. The gotcha. Warrens. Yes. Uh, they were like the Ghostbusters for the Catholic Church. Catholic Ghostbusters. Yes. What is it about like That's scary? So what is it about like, <laughs> like, like a scary event or scary movies that that make makes your mind wander or like like makes you afraid of of certain things? Like, if you don't watch a scary movie for the longest time, like you know you're not afraid to go outside and well, it's dark, or you're not really afraid of really anything. Mm -hmm. But once you start watching like a scary ass movie with like, w with uh, exorcisms or weird shit like that, like you have like these crazy dreams or, or you have like a fear of, of being alone or something. What is a, what about that makes it, you know, makes you feel that way? I, I think that when you when you watch something like that, like when the exorcism first came out in theaters, it scared the hell out of people. People were throwing up in the theater. Uh, they were running out of the theater because it was just too much for them to handle. And I think it was just like it unlocked something in their mind that like they've never seen before. And now there's this like new form of fear in you. I could be I could be that wrong. That makes sense because I watched Jackass 2 in theaters and the same thing happened. You guys started scared? throwing up and running out. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That was a different reason. Though. That's fear. You know, fear is <laughs> universal. Fear. Jackass 2. I can't. I can't remember Jackass too specific. No, for real. We went up to Tempe and watched it like there. Well, people probably, were, like, on the premiere and like they're like taking a shit into the little yeah, yeah. thing and like. like oh, oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Steve <laughs> smelling <laughs> farts and then like freaking throwing up. Yeah, and yeah, stuff, yeah. So then the people that are they're like, oh, bro, bro, bro. Some people have some weak ass stomachs. Yeah. And a lot of people are just like really offended, like, oh, this is trash. I'm leaving. I can't believe this is. Like, Remember when we watched mid nineties? It's the second Jackass. Like you shouldn't be surprised. Jackass one, <laughs> yeah. you shouldn't be surprised. You come to Jackass two, you should have a little bit of an idea that it's not going to be yeah. great. Yeah. Well, I know it was great, but it's not going to be like chill. You know, nothing There's ever. Be poop and penis. Yeah. Nothing ever be... bothers me from Jackass, but if anything, like makes me like kind of puts me there in their shoes. It's Stevo because his reaction is like. Oh, like I don't know he's gonna like throw up himself and then he does throw up yeah and I'm just like oh man if I was there I'd be throwing up too I think that hits on the same thing Paul was talking about with uh, when you see yourself there when it's something that kind of relates to you or you've been in that situation or something yeah. I think that's what makes you scared of those things I think also it's the whole like ignorance is bliss like you don't know about these things maybe so that's why you're not thinking about them before oh yeah and as soon yeah. as it's in your mind now like someone reminds you of that movie someone reminds you of that thing and now you're scared you're like, 
like, oh. Or is it something that, thing. like, is, like, built into our de- DNA that we're afraid of, like, certain things, things that we might have seen whenever we were roaming the earth? Well, probably definitely afraid of some things that could be a threat and you got to get away from them. But, uh, were Ed and Lorraine maybe vampires and that's why they got rid of the mirrors? Mm. Yes. Okay. Now that I think about it, yes. Mm-hmm. Especially because they carried a, a golden cross with them. Do you believe in like <laughs> haunted, like haunted dolls, like that that Annabelle and shit like that? Uh, I believe in one because I tried doing a exorcism on a doll from Germany, and there was a similar doll in a movie with Robin Williams, and it was just by chance. Like I, I tried doing the exorcism, then I was like, okay, I'm I'm just gonna give up on this, and uh, I I it was an unsuccessful one. Uh, by the way, and anyways, I I was watching this movie. I forgot what the movie's called, but it's something fish. Flubber. Flubber. Big fish. Flubber. The, the little fish? green dog. I, I don't I don't fish? remember what it's called, but it's something with Robin Williams. It's a very old movie, oh, wow. and Mrs. he's Doubtfire. he's holding this big Mrs. doll. Doubtfire. It could have been that Mrs. Doubtfire fish. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but he's holding this doll, and I was like, I was just doing an exorcism on a doll like that, but it was the, the same exact doll. Was but it like Raggedy Ann? No, it was a wooden doll. It was completely wooden, and it was just like, like um, if it was around you, you just got bad vibes, and then your dreams were just horrible. It was just everything, everything bad came from that doll. But the, once I got rid of it, the China dolls are are pretty creepy. Like oh those, yeah, like the porcelain face yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. they're pretty creepy. Uh, so you you mentioned being on the res before. Yeah. So you you are part native then. Yeah, I'm one eighth yaki. So this, uh, if this is two person, you can always cut it or whatever. But how do you reconcile the colonization of indigenous faiths by the Christian Church, by the Catholic Church? Because I think you, you said you were Catholic, right? Yeah. 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 So how do you reconcile then, like the pre-existing religions that the tribe had? Yeah. To then them transitioning into following Christianity because every time I like listen to hey shout out to Kaniko 91.1 KYAY San Carlos Apache Radio uh, <laughs> for real best radio they station in Arizona oh, yeah. the yeah. best yeah. Uh, but they have like Sunday morning church services and stuff on the channel and it always uh, it, it just feels weird to me like what what about that uh, you know um, uh, I don't remember when her funeral was but when I went to my nana's funeral on the res, you know, it was completely, um, you know, traditional. And it was it was pretty much all music. And, um, you know, here, you know, when you go to a, a Catholic um, uh, funeral, it's like... Boring. It's boring. <laughs> the, the priest is just talking about, like, the it feels faith. dull. It doesn't feel like yeah. there's any like, yeah. spiritual... And, yes, like, he, he's read this a hundred times. You could tell he's bored. Traditional. It's all traditional. <laughs> <laughs> just going through the motions up there. Yeah. And Another <laughs> one bites the dust. Yeah. Oh, Chris, <laughs> watching this show. Switch it up. Switch it up. We need a little more hype yes. at the funeral. So <laughs> get better. Change up, this, change up the, the routine, something. Yeah, it's it's... It's I don't know. It's way different out there. Like um, uh, like there's just music and it feels more of a celebration. Like when when I was there at my nana's funeral, it was more of just like like uh, the music is is not like like a downer. It's like it's kind of like an uplifting spirit type of. Now, do they have a church like a the temple like a church church? Yeah, they have a so they have a church on the reservation. Um, it's very hot in there. I'm not. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing because they keep it all, all natural over there. So there's no AC units. It's no all. It's all dirt. No, there's there's bathrooms. Oh. Uh, that is one thing that they're like. Okay, yeah, you know. <laughs> but um, uh, so you, it, it's really nice inside. But um, out there, you know, they have the San Javier Mission, and um, I mean, there's that. I, I guess you could pick which where you want to go to church. But uh, if you want. Good food after church. Go to the San Javier. Get some uh, bean and cheese popovers. Uh, Any particular vendor you want to shout out? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> not for free. <laughs> no, I'm not sponsored. So. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it's uh, it's really it's really different out there. And then um, 
You know, when... I, when I wonder so, what they believe whenever, like, prayers don't work. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't... I don't know. Um, that I don't Cause, know. Because, I mean, a guy gets his arm chopped off, and they can't really pray for him to grow it back, or... Yeah. Are there olives in Tucson? Olives? Yeah, he said the shaman used olive oil. Olive oil? Olive oil. I don't oil. know if olives are indigenous to Arizona. Mm, that's a, that's mm. a good question. Where did he get this olive Costco. oil? Costco. Imported <laughs> relics. <laughs> <laughs> Imported <laughs> relics from the holy sanctum of Walmart. <laughs> I have seen olive trees, actually. They might be. They might be. Mm. Olive trees are pretty cool looking, actually. Like the are they dark? Tree. I think I've seen them. Uh, I, I think kind of grayish. Yeah, it's okay. just the way they grow is weird. Like, uh, you know, it's not, okay. not like a perfectly round thing. I've seen that things. before, <laughs> though. You know, I've, the, seen, I've seen some I've seen of that. trees. I haven't I've seen, seen, seen all of trees, cool. you know. Well, what's your favorite tree? Uh, apple? Cool. I don't really have a favorite it's tree. tree. <laughs> I like maple well. trees. I mean, when Paul had an apple tree, he attracted a lot of bugs. But it was because all those apples were, like, they weren't spoiled. Or yeah, they were spoiled and they weren't really ripe. Because you didn't discipline them properly. Well, it, oh. didn't give, it didn't give it its. I didn't give it like nutrients for that tree. No. So I mean, they grew to a certain size, and they weren't. You know, if they don't grow to a certain like a certain size, then you really bad can't apple. pick them. It's just bad. <laughs> bad apple. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't believe in pesticides, so you know he's got to. Yes. Well, you can't not believe in pesticides. They exist. I don't believe in <laughs> it's not it's fucking Santa Claus. <laughs> oh, my bad. This is, like this isn't on kids YouTube, is it? I just ruined a thing. Okay, it's cool. It YouTube. is. Oh, it shit. is. Don't you see it? Talking about yeah. fucking Santa Claus. <laughs> Sick son of a bitch. Sick. As long as you don't tie him up. <laughs> That's all that matters. Yeah. Cause I'm okay with that. You're okay with vengeance. I'm okay with vengeance. Hmm. Um, I'm okay with. Um, if it's, you know, if someone did something really, really wrong, like, um, uh... What have they apologized for? Uh... Sincerely. Yeah. Oh, well... pizza. I guess if they, if they really change their ways, then it's like, okay. But if, if, like, they did something really brutal, it's like, no, you're really fucked up. Like... But, like, I mean, like, a person that murders is probably mentally... Yeah. ...fucked up anyway, so, yeah. like... But what I'm saying is, like, <clears throat> is there a way to forgive a person that does something so bad that, you know, they can't control themselves? Like, like, uh, like a sickness. Talking about like crime a, of passion? What do you? What do you no, mean? no. I'm just saying, like, like, would you be able to forgive, a, like, a murderer? No. Who? I I need more context. Like, who they murder? Why they murder? Well, I mean, like, a, when like they a murder. If we, if you think about it, if they're murder. sick in the head, they're doing something wrong like that, killing people and stuff like that. Like, that's an illness. So that's like any any other person that has a disorder. So, I mean, but that's premeditated murder. What if it was like, if if no, you I'm kill someone, like, it's like murder, killer right? Types, like, I guess, like serial t- killer types, maybe. Okay. Like, like that they could I forgive have Ted Bundy? Like, is that what you mean? Like, yeah. Okay. I mean, well, I mean, he did a lot of fucked up shit. W- was he the hot one? He was the dad on uh, Married yeah, with Children. I'm asking the audience. <laughs> 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 the dad dad there, right? Bundy? <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I'd probably forgive him then. Is that <laughs> a coincidence? <laughs> that it's the same no, it was Al Bundy. Al Bundy. Oh, <laughs> Al Bundy. <laughs> Okay, I was, I was you know what? Stupid. I, I, I'm sorry, bro. I can't believe hey, I missed that. Al was into some shit, though. <laughs> yeah, Al like, was. Yeah. I mean, this isn't coming from here first. People have heard it. Hey, internet, I know you know this, but like, one dude, only working man, working at a shoe store. So Women's shoe store. He's got a big ass house, supporting two kids. <laughs> he said he went to college off a single income working at a shoe store. Hey, wasn't, he talk, store wasn't he talking like, to a puppet at the, in the basement? No, that was. Um, was it? God, was that a different what was that one? called? The Hit the Road, uh, yeah. And oh, that was the same show? That was a different show. Oh, fuck. I forgot what that one was called. Uh, That's not the same guy, though? No. <laughs> oh, <that's not> <laughs> I don't even know if that was the same know. network, bro. <laughs> 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 I don't know what we're talking about. Married for Children. The, oh. Is that the one? Oh, yeah, I don't want you to get... Uh, yeah, 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 that's the one. Not. That's oh, the one, yeah. 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 Uh-huh? Oh, no, your tone was way off. It's okay. <laughs> Usually. Copyright it's. won't hit. It won't be detected. No, I'm just kidding. No, that's a good show, though. 
But you know, uh, if okay, if one of if like one of my family members was killed by like some like some fool of a took, then I'd be like, yeah, I can't forgive you. Can you find took for me? Yeah, took. Uh, it's a. It's actually uh, a a hobbit, uh, and it's their last name. It's kind of like their like if you separate separate the Tooks from the um, okay. uh, Baggins, then the Tooks would be their own clan. Mm. So are they taller? So full of a Took mm. means like you're 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 a shitty hobbit. Yeah, you're mm. you're so the some shitty hobbit. Lower your class. <laughs> you're a lower class. Well, I I don't call them a, a hobbit. I call them a halfling. But I mean, I'm not. You don't want to get sued by the Tolkien estate. Yes. You can't call them. A <laughs> yeah, I respect the. I'm looking to partner with the Tolkiens on my book, so. Okay. Uh, assuming he's still alive. All of them, that entire family. <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna assume he's still. You know what? Live your dreams. I th- I think you got a good shot at that. Yeah. I'll try. I'll try hitting right. him up. I'll say, hey, what do you think of my book? <laughs> Maybe J-R-R-J-R-J-R-J-R Tolkien? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's I that's a Took. Okay. Took is the... Uh, okay. Shit-ass I, I've never heard it yeah. used as like a derogatory term. Bitch-ass hobbit. Is this common? Uh, right, in this house, it this is. This house is all right. Cool. We're, we're we Lord of the this Rings. This is anti Took house. You heard it here. First. Yeah, <laughs> anti Took. <laughs> no Tooks allowed. <laughs> yep. It's a very Romeo and Juliet situation. Yeah. So like, uh, your kid brings a Took home. You know, when they after they get older, they're you know in high school they're going to prom. A Took asks them to prom. Okay, they they're dating. They, a they, they say they say it's love, but they're sixteen. Okay. What do they know? Yeah. How do you react to this? Is it do you, is it? Well, you know, I don't. I don't judge. I, I, you know, it depends how this toque treats my 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 son or daughter, okay. and um, you know, is does this toque have uh, a family members that have felon felonies? Because um, you know, is this person going to carry along that you know that bad habit? What's wrong with felonies? Uh, you know, um, sometimes it runs in the family. Oh, felonies are hereditary, but yes. misdemeanors aren't. Mis- yeah, yeah. That miss that down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yeah, but if if one of my kids wants to date a toque, then you know, well, got to give them a chance. All right, give them a chance. But I hate them right away. Mm. <laughs> cool. No, that that logic tracks. I've heard I've heard a lot of things like that. Yeah. that, that makes sense. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, everyone, thank you for joining us. Uh, check us out on the next episode, and we'll see if Casey comes back because he did not have a good time. I could, I could just tell. Uh-huh.